Tonight we're learning more about what a new Brent Spence Bridge might look like, but also why engineers want to change how we get to things on each side of the river. Residents sounded off about the proposed changes at a hearing tonight, and 9 News reporter Bryce Onslinger is live in Covington with what those concerns are all about, Bryce. Well, uh, Carol, restaurants, bars, and other businesses here in downtown Covington rely on the business they get from traffic off of the highway, I-7175. But under the current plan for the new Brent Spence Bridge, the 5th Street and 12th Street exits would be gone as we know them today. The concern for many of the northern Kentucky residents and business owners that came to tonight's informational meeting on the new Brent Spence Bridge are the changes to the current 5th and 12th Street exits into Covington. And I really think it's important that we have this bridge, but I also think it's important not to kill a city. Under the current plan, drivers who want to exit from 75 South to Covington will have to make that decision near the Ezra Charles overpass in Ohio. Then drivers will take a separate highway called a collector distributor, much like 2nd and 3rd Streets above Fort Washington Way. From there, you'll be able to exit to 5th Street and 9th Street in Covington. And that's by design because we want to try to have through traffic moving unimpeded so you don't have weave issues and safety concerns. Rob Hands is a chief engineer with the Kentucky Department of Highways. He says under the current plan, the new bridge would be a double deck bridge built parallel to the current Brent Spence Bridge. Hand says the grade would be too steep to include a 5th Street exit like there is today. But it would be possible to make an exit to 9th Street, something the city of Covington and many northern Kentucky residents are pushing for. It does look like it's harder for somebody who doesn't know the routes, who's outside of the area, to drop down into the 5th Street. Main Strauss is down there. There's a lot of great buildings, restaurants, things to do down there. And, uh, it's going to be uh, very important that access uh, to those areas for the, uh, to, to keep those areas vibrant, that people who aren't from the area can get to those easily. Now, if you missed tonight's meeting, but you'd still like to have your opinion heard, you're in luck. There's another meeting tomorrow that will be held from 5 to 8 at the Northern Kentucky Convention Center. Carol? All right, Bryce Onslinger reporting live for us on this pretty important issue for this area.